Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a few basic add commands, which do come in quite handy for many missions. So, first thing you want to do is go to the website. Um, yeah, yeah, go to the website which uh, has, or to the link that has all the Arma 2 class names. Uh, it's going to be in the description just to the right of this video. All right. So once you're here we're gonna scroll down to the weapons because what I'm gonna show you today is how to add weapons to a weapons crate or to a vehicle or how to add custom weapons to a unit so let's scroll down alright so here where it says weapons we'll scroll down to here so I'm gonna write down a few weapons uh, that I'm going to add to a vehicle. So, for example, um, let's see. Um, oh, okay, just to clarify, the first column is so. Yeah, the first column tells you the name of the weapon. The second column is the class name of the weapon and the third column is the class name of the ammunition that the weapon uses so okay let's see alright we'll uh... we'll add the russian fifty cal so the ksvk so we'll just write write down on a piece of paper or something the class name of the weapon so ksvk all capitals and then write down um, the ammunition. So that's what I'm going to do right now. All right. And uh maybe we'll just get one more. Okay, we'll just let's get a, a javelin in there. So it's gonna be easy, just javelin and javelin. All right, so now we have that. And I mean, you you can use whatever you want from this. Doesn't matter, right? I'm just giving you examples. You can use whatever weapons you want. So that's all we need from this website for now. Now we're gonna hop into the editor, and I'll show you the rest of the work. So uh, see you there. All right. So we're um, in the editor now. So uh, let's just go ahead and create ourselves a unit I'm gonna make a rifleman uh, let's see uh, with a shotgun alright and now we're just gonna make a, a Huey All right, so we have that. So right now, technically, the Huey absolutely has nothing in it. It's fully empty. This is where we get the uh, the handy dandy add command. Okay, so let's test that out. So double click on the Huey, and uh, let's type this. add weapon cargo then you're gonna put a an opening square bracket and you're gonna put the uh, quotation marks and you're gonna type the uh, the class name of the weapon so I don't know we'll put a javelin in here but 
that was the class name. Sometimes it's different, like you saw just before this. And you're going to put a, a, a comma. And then a space. And put the amount of javelins we want. So we'll, we only need one. But uh, whatever, we'll put two. And then a closing bracket. Now this is just going to give us the, just the, the weapon, so just a tube, but we need some actual, uh, we actually need some weapon, like the actual projectile, right? So we'll just close that off, make another line, and then type this. Okay, so basically now it's just going to give us five projectiles. Just press OK. Alright, so now we'll preview. And uh, let's test it out. Okay, so there's a Huey. So just press G, right, to see what's inside the Huey. And there you go. You've got the javelin, and we have two. So we'll take it. And then we have the five projectiles. So that's how we add weapons and cargo to vehicles or objects. I mean, I'm not going to show you how to add it to crates because it's the exact same thing. So that, yeah, that's how you add it to vehicles. Now I'm just going to show you how to add it, how to give uh, units custom loadouts. I just want to fire this one. So. Whatever. Okay. So now I'm just going to show you how to give custom loadouts to units. So we'll go back to the editor. Okay, so back in the editor. Uh, okay, double click on the unit. So let's say let's say we want to give this this guy the uh, KSVK, the Russian 50 cal. What you would have to do is uh, put this. And then you would put the weapon name. Except remember the I don't I don't know the weapon name right now off the top of my head. So I'm going to go back to that list that we had on that website and look for the M1014 class name and then we'll put it in here. So I'm just going to go look for it right now and I'll be right back.